Okay, so we're on our way to Tahoe right now. Well, not really, because we're really kind of on our way to um, Chase to get money so we can have somebody put on, um, what are those things called, the tire chains? Mm -hmm. But we just stopped, so we're in Alameda now because we have to pick up the car from Oakland. But we're on our way, yeah, to Chase, like I said. But anyways, so we went to this place called... Um, Lola's in Alameda. I've never been there. Justin has. Oh, is the camera clear? Justin's been there before. I wanted to. All these streets is hella tight. I wanted to vlog my reaction to it, but I'm trying to wait till we get to Chase so I can like set the camera on the dashboard. Are we far? No, it's right up here. And then here's my little, my little honey baby. Within the Jeep, cuz. Yeah, so we ended up getting a Jeep Wrangler. Um, not by choice, but it turned out to be in our favor. Um, and then the lady at Lola is so sweet. Shout out to her. I bought a, well, Justin bought me a peanut butter cookie. But then she gave me two, so she gave me one for baby and one for me. But we only paid for one. Thank God Justin doesn't eat peanut butter, so I don't have to share <laughs> with him. He don't know where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna vlog my reaction. BRB. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where to put all this stuff. It's like not a lot of storage space in this car. Okay, so let's see. What do we have in here? We have french fries. Let's try a french fry. Mmm! Well, that's good. French fries are good. Didn't really expect to go wrong there. Okay, actually, let me show you guys what the chicken looks like. I need to take this jacket off. I feel like so restricted. I'm trying to eat because it's big jacket. Ranch, honey mustard. Hold on. I ten by ten, people. Just let me try it here what, before you start driving like a maniac. Okay. So this is what the chicken looks like up close. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is really good. Mmm. It reminds me of a pickle. I think they actually... They may marinate their chicken in pickle juice. You want me to get your food out? I'll take a bite of that one. You gotta try the basil pesto sauce too. This is like Chick-fil-A's fault.
I wasn't vlogging, but no, don't try to vlog. Really. <laughs> but Justin, you the whole fucking bro. don't Justin. even put that camera on me either. Uh, wants me to vlog this situation. So my vlog started out. You should just be holding this. Maybe I can prop this up right here. Okay. So we were sitting there, drove up the hill. Mind you, we left the house, or left and got on the freeway probably at like, what, one o'clock? One, two o'clock? Sure. So we were sitting there and we were like, okay, well, it seems like, or we should have left way earlier, but, excuse me, but it is what it is. So then we get halfway up there. I wouldn't even know if you would call it halfway. So his Google Maps, decides to tell us to take this back road so we're taking like this back road and it starts to like you can start to see the snow i think i vlogged like a little bit of the snow so you can see the snow and then we're still driving we're on this back road this lady decides to we're on this one way like back road where people's houses are the freeway is like bumper to bumper we can see it from the road we're on and so everybody is kind of like there's this guy that's outside of his um that i guess was walking just to be walking and he's like walking up to everybody's car and they're rolling down their windows and he's giving everybody basically like a synopsis about what happened and that there was three avalanches and that they're going to close down the roads and that we should just it would be in our best interest to just get a hotel so i'm like eh, eh. So then we still go up the road because he's telling us to still go straight and then turn right and blah, blah, blah. So this lady in front of us is in this like huge 4x4 pickup. She decides she's going to go back this way. We're coming this way. So she backs into somebody's driveway and instead of turning her wheel, she sits over there and turns it. Instead of fully turning her wheel, she just turns and like like screeches loses control of the car we're just sitting there and she runs right like head on into us so at that point i'm just like what the fuck so i like i'm screaming what the fuck and justin's just sitting there hella quiet like just like <laughs> as quiet as can be which is what he usually does and he's like just upset he don't talk where i like scream so then she like gets out of her car, comes to my window. I just like not rolling it down because I'm so pissed off that I don't even have nothing to say. So then Justin gets out the car, gets her information, blah, blah, blah. She's trying to tell us that she's going to pay us out of pocket. No. So then we exchange the information. Mind you, there's, mind you like, there's like 20 plus cars behind us and they're stuck because we're exchanging information. Nobody can get by. So then... um. We like drive off we end up like coming to this hotel and we don't want to like drive far so we end up picking like the first hotel that we see because we were trying to go back in the morning so we don't want to be like super close to uh oh hit your head we don't want to be like super close back home so this is where we are so i have to give you guys like a tour of this room it's so outdated and like <laughs> this is like <laughs> this is like the front door it's hella creepy like i feel like i'm in the middle of a movie where people like like bates motel type shit and this is where the tv used to be this is one of the beds i was just calm because somebody has to be calm in the situation here take note of this bed and then they want to upgrade this tv though so there's that. The still to let us know that it's a small table, a little fridge, and then this old, outdated microwave. When Justin just warmed up his food, I told him to back up and make sure that he's not close to it. And there's me, little baby, and this bathroom that I just, I'm, I'm not going to shower. I think I'm okay. <sighs> So basically we have gone through like a whole experience oh and then Justin took us to some like um, <laughs> to some little bar which was in this weird little town called Warren Placerville 
respect the local Placerville economy. So, yeah, we got the last, oh, okay, I was just laying there. The last hotel room in this area. That's why it's meant to be. Everything works out for a reason. So, we're gonna stay here for the night. And we'll probably go home tomorrow. If we go home tomorrow, I'm treating us to like facials and massages and. Oh, yeah, whatever. No, we are. Unnecessary. What are you doing? I'd rather just go home. I'm stuck. I'd rather just go home and play with Ben. He doesn't want you to play with him. Oh, yeah, so he's still eating these Fuck you. nuggets. <laughs> Alright, don't ask me for that. They're my nuggets all the way from Alameda to fucking Tahoe. Yeah, so now we're just sitting here. It's hella warm. And I'm tired. And we just went to the movies. We were the only people in the movies. The whole theater. How many times can you say you got the whole theater to yourself? But I was so tired that I couldn't even like care that we we're the only people in there and the baby was just kicking the whole time that we were in there I swear like her foot was in my hand like this like we were like bonding like it was like this it was like she just was trying to talk to me so she just went back to sleep though she's finally calm after the whole situation but she can strip from Lola's Alameda Park Street. Mm. That ranch smells good. If you're ever in the East Bay in Oakland, go to Alameda, go to Park Street, and get your little five piece signature from Lola's. And then go treat yourself Is Monkey to King over there? and Monkey King. We're just plugging all Alameda right now. <laughs> I didn't start going to Alameda until I started dating Justin. Not that I had anything against it, I just really didn't know what was out there for me to eat. But, yeah, I don't know. We're trying to figure out if we're going to try again tomorrow, but I'm just scared. So I know that this couple left at 10 a.m. and that Justin was met at the hotel. And they left at 10 a.m. from the Bay Area. Sat in traffic, they a left from 9 a.m. in Alameda, and still didn't make it. And I don't want to be pregnant and stuck in that, so we're just kind of trying to weigh our options and see. But I'll definitely give y'all an update when I figure that out.